Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff. I'm TJ. And we're back for our second skate tutorial video. Today we're talking about the T-Stop. Yeah, baby. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about uh, probably one of the most beginner moves um, that you'll have in your arsenal. Um, it's the like preferred the way to stop for everyone. Uh, it's called the T-Stop. Um, when you're doing it, Jeff, if you'd like to get the camera. Yep, I'll go this way. So, it's called a T-Stop, but mostly you're in the L position, so the T position would obviously be like this foot in front and that foot directly behind, but I I've never met anyone who does it like that. Um, no, one, no one, no one stops like this, people. No one. No, if you see someone stopping like this, make sure they're not doing it yeah. anymore. <laughs> so you want to have your foot out, and basically all you're going to do is, if you're skating normally, just straight. You're gonna to want to turn your foot 90 degrees and drag all of your wheels, and it will like uh, the you, friction will slow you down. And, and like I would say, drag all your wheels to begin. I mean, eventually you could probably just like, drag. <coughs> like you could drag all four. I would say all four might get you to stop faster. Definitely. More friction with the ground. Science. Um, but definitely like want to keep your. I mean, mostly you just want to keep your foot planted on the ground. Um, there's not really too much to it. We're not going to get into it because we don't have like the rentals on, but if you do have rental skates on because you don't have your own pair of skates yet, which is okay, um, you will most likely have a giant toe stop on the on your toe. And when you do that, they have, I mean, like when I say it's big, it's like giant, it's going to be sticking out. You could literally just drag your toe like this. I obviously don't have one, but if you drag your toe like this, that will also get you to stop. And if you just have a break in general. Exactly. You know? If you have a toe stop on any skate that you have, you could use it like that. Um, that's another method of doing it. But I would say for the most part, most skaters especially when you get to the intermediate and advanced portion of you know your skating career or whatever you want to call it mostly use a t-stop or pound stop yeah we'll give them another video do you want to show it off yeah i'll show it, it. Okay. drag all to it this is all you really need to know um no more smashing into the wall when you skate or falling and looking like a beginner exactly all right, guys, so just want to say thank you again for popping out with us um, and learning this new uh, move to you guys, and hopefully that will help you out stopping so you don't slam into the wall like TJ said earlier. Um, and uh, stay tuned for more skating tutorials. Make sure you like and subscribe. And hit the bell for post notifications. Yes, sir. Yeah.